what's going on YouTube my name is Scooterific uh, Scooterific Airsoft and right now I'm currently driving to mother -in I also just left my I just left ACS Airsoft for just for a few hours of fun but it's big big news on one of my guns my uh, my GNG TR16 308 SBR so I'm getting getting ready to do some really awesome upgrades to that gun. So I just I had left it with them. So I'm getting ready to get I'm getting a gate aster put in it. Getting a new getting a getting an upgraded spring. I'm doing a bucking as well on that. So hopefully that gun will be shooting like laser beams when it when I get it back. So I leave my well the the MOSFET it when it's they're still waiting on a bunch of them to come in, so but yeah, it's just a little fun update on that gun because I'm going to build it. But other than that, I mean, my HVA gun, I mean, I'm used it some today. I mean, it's having some feeding issues, so I got to go through and figure that out. If y'all have any ideas on what the problem with the issue could be, leave leave them down the leave some leave down the comments for me. Just um some ideas of what my issue might be i honestly think it's a i think it's the, my, the bucking being kind of scrunched up maybe causing it but i don't know yet i won't know until i take it apart and look but maybe my nozzle dwells too high or too low i don't know i ain't figured it out but that gun does have a polar star fusion engine in it so any of y'all who know more about the fusion engines than I do, <laughs> please give me some advice on what to look for. Other than that, how are you guys doing this week and this fine weekend? For me, it's been a long week, but it's also been a fantastic day for me today. Get to go out and play some airsoft for a little while, have a little bit of fun. Getting a gun or getting my gun upgraded. That was probably the highlight of my day today. But I've got another I made another update on my high cap of build too. I've got more parts ordered for it. I got a magwell going ordered. Magwell, I got a trigger and a trigger ring ordered for it, so yeah. I'm just getting buying the few of the smaller parts before I go on to buying the frame and a slide. Since I'm gonna do a just I'm gonna build one of high cap from scratch. Like I said in the last video, what do you, what, what as far as the internal parts, what do you guys recommend? So yeah, just leave down in the comments any of the recommendations on high cap of parts to look for and get. Just that and just any other things as far as the issues with my Polar Star gun, what my feeding issue could possibly be. But I'm Scooter Riffic Air, Scooter Riffic from Scooter Riffic Airsoft. As always, I'll see you out there. Peace.